Welcome to Mini Orange. Today we are going to set up single sign on in WordPress using Azure B2C as IDP. Log into your WordPress admin account. Click on plugin on the menu bar on the left hand side. Now click on the add new button. Search for SAML in the search bar. Now install the Mini Orange plugin for single sign on. And click on activate. We have successfully installed Mini Orange plugin, which is on the menu bar on the left hand side. Select Azure B2C as your IDP. You can click here to get the step by step setup guide. Let's configure the Azure B2C identity provider. First step is to register identity experience framework. Log into Azure B2C tenant as an administrator. Select app registration and then select new registration. And her name is Identity Experience Framework. Under Supported Account Types, select accounts in this organizational directory only. Under Redirect URI, select Web. Enter your Microsoft tenant domain name. Under Permissions, select the Grant Admin Consent to Open ID and Offline Access Permissions checkbox and click on Register. Select Expose an API. Select Add a Scope, then select Save and continue to accept the default application ID URI. Enter scope name as user impersonation. Admin consent display name as access identity experience framework. Admin consent description is per your choice. And click on Add Scope. The second step is to register the Proxy Identity Experience Framework application. From the Azure AD B2C tenant, select App Registrations, and then select New Registration. And her name is Proxy Identity Experience Framework. Under Supported Account Types, select Accounts in this organizational directory only. Under Redirect URI, select Public Client or Native. And her Redirect URI as my app. Auth. Under Permissions, select the Grant Admin Consent to Open ID and Offline Access Permissions checkbox and click on Register. Select Authentication. Under Advanced Setting, select Yes to allow Public Client Flow. And click on Save. Select API Permissions. Select Add a Permission. Select the My API tab, then select the Identity Experience Framework application. Under Permission, select the User Impersonation Scope that you defined earlier. And click on Add Permission. Select Grant Admin Consent for your tenant name. Grant Access Successful. The third step is to register the WordPress application. Select App Registrations, and then select New Registration. Enter a name for the application as per your choice. Under Supported Account Types, select Accounts in any Identity Provider or any Organizational Directory. Under Redirect URI, select Web, and then enter the ACS URL. To get the ACS URL, go to the Service Provider Metadata tab in the Mini Orange plugin. Copy the ACS URL and paste it over here. Under Permissions, Select the Grant Admin Consent to Open ID and Offline Access Permissions checkbox and click on Register. Select Expose an API. Click on Set for the Application ID URI and then click on Save, accepting the default value. Copy the Application ID URI and navigate to the Service Provider Metadata tab of the plugin. Paste the copied value in the SP Entity ID field and click on Update. The fourth step is to generate SSO policies. Go to Service Provider Setup tab in the Mini Orange plugin. Select Azure B2C as your IDP. Click here to open Setup Guide. From the Content section, click on Step number 3, Generate SSO Policies. Write your Azure B2C tenant name. To get the Identity Experience Framework App ID, go to the Azure ID B2C Overview page and click on App Registration. 
Click on All Application and search for Identity Experience Framework. Copy the application ID and paste it over here. To get the Proxy Identity Experience Framework App ID, search for Proxy Identity Experience Framework. Copy the application ID and paste it over here. And click on Generate B2C Policies. Your policies zip is downloaded. Unzip the downloaded Azure B2C policies for use in the next steps. Fifth step is to upload the policies. Under Policies, select Identity Experience Framework and then click on Policy Keys. Click on Add. And then select the options as Upload. Enter the name as Samuel IDP Cert. Click here to upload a file and select the cert file from the unzipped policies folder. Enter the certificate's password as Azure tenant name. And click on create. A new key will be created. Again click on add and select the option as generate. Enter the name as token signing key container. For key type, select RSA and for key usage. Select Signature, and click on Create. Again click on Add, and select the option as Generate. Enter name as Token Encryption Key Container. For Key Type, select RSA, and for Key Usage, select Encryption, and click on Create. From the Overview page, select the Identity Experience Framework. Select Upload Custom Policy. As per the following order, upload the policy files downloaded in the above steps. First, Trust Framework Base. Second, Trust Framework Extensions. Third, Sign Up or Sign In. Fourth, Profile Edit. Fifth, Password Reset And 6th, Sign Up or Sign in SAML Let's configure the service provider. Go to your service provider setup tab in the mini orange plugin. To configure service provider, click on Upload IDP Metadata. Write Azure B2C as your IDP name. Enter metadata URL as shown below and click on Fetch Metadata. Your identity provider details are saved successfully. Scroll down. Click on Test Configuration. You have successfully configured Azure B2C with your WordPress site. Now let's see how to add a mini orange login widget for single sign-on. On the menu bar on the left-hand side, click on Appearance, then Widgets. Select Login with Azure B2C and click on Add Widget. In Title put Login with Azure B2C and click on Save. Now let's see how this feature works. Go to your WordPress site homepage and scroll down. You can see the widget we added for single sign-on. Click on Login with Azure B2C. You will be redirected to Azure B2C login page. Login with your Azure B2C credential. Congratulations! You have successfully logged into WordPress using Azure B2C as IDP. Check out our premium version of the plugin which includes features like attribute mapping, role mapping and many more. And it also supports add-ons like SCIM user sync, page restriction, etc.